gathered at this memorial uh, in an act of remembrance and thanksgiving. We're here to remember and to give thanks for all those who served and died and were wounded in conflicts around the world, defending democracy and freedom in the face of tyranny and evil. We are gathered not to glorify war, but to remember the fallen and to honour those who fought for a better world. We come faced with the reality that the lessons of the past are not easily learned. Even today, wars being waged around the world, and especially we think of the brutal conflict in Ukraine and the terrible hardship being faced by that people in the face of unprovoked aggression. So we're gathered to be reminded of the horror and the terrible cost of war and to offer our thanks for all those who fought for our freedom, who gave themselves for our peace. So we're gathered to be reminded of our responsibility to work for a better world for the next generation, a world in which there will be no need for weapons of war. And we come to affirm our belief that such change is possible and that the cycle of human hate and violence can be ended and that we can love our enemies as Jesus taught us. And so with God's help we will work to that end. For now we remember and give thanks. I'm going to invite our wreaths uh, to be laid now uh, just in front of They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember them. <laughs> pray. Ever living God, we remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all peoples, and establish harmony among the nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, in the name of the one whose presence brings peace, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> 